Mr. Flynn, we got, uh, we got conflicting reports here about your part in the revolution. The first reports uh, had it that you uh, fought side by side with the rebels. And then we had a report uh, quoting Mr. Castro saying that he never heard of you. What is the truth? Uh, well, the truth is that Mr. Castro said the other night, on, uh, he said he'd been asked this question himself many times, and that uh, I was certainly with him. He said this on the late news on Sunday. As for fighting with the rebels, of course, I didn't pick up anything more dangerous than a ballpoint <laughs> pen. You know? I didn't consider myself a belligerent. On the contrary, an observer and a correspondent. I'm awfully sorry, by the way, gentlemen, if there are any newspaper people here. If they'll stay out of my racket, I'll stay out of theirs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a fellow down there named uh, George or St. George of the NBC. and uh, Not George Ruff. No, his oh. last name was George, and he went on the air to say that you were there, and he was with you, and he guaranteed everything you said. So he backed you up. Uh, well, I'm happy to hear that, because it's quite true. I to know why exactly you went to Cuba. Uh, yes, I'll tell you exactly why. It was very difficult to get there, number one. But this man more than superseded my every expectation I had. If you live with a man under duress, this was before the victory, mark you. He is, I think, he will rank in history with some of the greats. Mm -hmm. Toby? I was just wondering how you justify his executions without trial. No, I cannot justify that because I've only read about it in the newspaper. I only know that he told me personally, time and again, that the people who had done all these atrocious things, and I have literal evidence of them and photographic evidence of them, he said to me, and so did his brother Ralph, that he would, he would, they would be given justice that they did not really deserve, but they would give, and I saw all evidence up until the time I left as to this. Now, the other radical elements in his uh, uh, movement, I suppose in the time of revolution, you, you cannot control wild people. Uh, well, I know that he himself and his brother Raoul and his little old lady mother, who's a doll, she really is, and a tough one, just as tough as the rest of them. Uh, don't believe in retribution, uh, uh, summary retribution. Mr. Flynn, if I may interrupt, uh, you uh, obviously have a very warm feeling for these people, and you were in Spain during the Civil War there. Uh, do, you, do you notice any uh, uh, similarity? Is there any similarity between the spirit in Spain and the spirit in Cuba? This no. Time? No, not at all. Uh, this, is a, this is a popular movement. The people of Cuba were trodden underfoot. If I could just show you some of these horrible pictures, and I, I know of my own experience what happened with them. Uh, if I could just show you this, you would understand why they rose and mm -hmm. stuck with Fidel Castro mm -hmm. and his brother Raul, uh, and why they could fight for five and a half years. Nobody seems to realize that this has been going on for five and a half yes. years. Mm -hmm. Mr. Flynn, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate your coming to our program tonight and hearing right. firsthand your report of things that have been going on in Cuba. Thank you so much. Right, sir. Thank you. Right, sir.